What's up guys, this is Kevin with Latitude, and in this video we're going to cover absolutely everything you need to know on how to use the Method 2 hunting saddle. Everything that we're going to cover in this video applies to both the regular and XL sizes of the Method 2 hunting saddle. When you receive your saddle, it's going to come in a box that looks like this. Inside the box is going to be the saddle itself, a set of leg straps, and a sticker. When you remove the saddle from the box, it's going to be held together by the magnetic quick connect system in an orientation similar to a small single panel style saddle. In order to put the saddle on, I like to first extend both the am steel bridge rope and the rope belt itself to their maximum lengths. And then I can put it on one of two ways. Typically, if I'm at the truck and I haven't put my backpack and other gear on yet, I'll just sling it over top of my head and bring it down to my waist. If I'm out in the field, however, with all my gear on, I typically like to step through the saddle and pull it up to my waist. You can then tighten down the waist belt by pulling on the stopper knot marked by the red shrink tube. And because the method two saddle pivots around the waist belt itself, you can place this knot wherever you find most comfortable for your hike in. I'll then tighten down my bridge rope so everything's nice and tight around my body, stow my tags, and as you can see here, you have an extremely small profile for going through the woods. We like to call this compact mode because of how small it is. At this point, I would grab my leg straps and toss them in a pouch or pocket and head off to my destination. So let's take this over to a tree and we can show you how adjustable the Method 2 saddle is to find comfort while up in the air. Real quick, I want to emphasize one aspect of the Method 2 saddle that we just covered, and that's putting it on and off. This might seem like a very small part of the process, but you notice while I was doing it, there was absolutely zero noise, and we designed it that way intentionally. The fact is that oftentimes the best days in the field each season are usually the coldest. This usually means that we're packing in our insulation layers on our back, to try to not sweat on the way in, and then at least partially getting dressed at the base of the tree before climbing. It's extremely important to have a saddle that goes on quickly, but more importantly, quietly, with zero metal noise. Once I've reached my destination and prior to climbing the tree, I'm gonna add the leg straps to my saddle. To do so, grab the center hook on the leg straps, reach behind you and find the loop on the back of the saddle, and clip into that loop. With the redesigned G-hooks on the Method 2 saddle, clipping in and out of these loops is significantly easier, and with a couple practice runs, you can do this eyes closed in the dark, no problem. If you are struggling to reach behind you and find that loop, an alternative method is to slightly loosen both your bridge and your belt, and spin the saddle around so that loop is on your front side. Clip into that loop and return the saddle to its normal position. With the bridge slightly loosened, I'll then reach down between my legs, grab each of the two remaining G-hooks, and clip them into the loops on the inside of the bridge. You're now ready to climb the tree. To ascend the tree, I'm going to pull out my lineman belt and clip into the dedicated lineman loops on the side of the saddle. On the Method 2, we made these slightly larger and reoriented them so they stay more open and are even easier to clip into in the dark. So I'm clipping to the one side, go around the tree, clip into the other, Tighten up my rope. I would then climb the tree with whatever climbing method I prefer. So at this point, we're going to assume you've climbed the tree, you've set your platform, you've put your tether on the tree, and you've loosened your bridge and clipped into your tether, ensuring to lock the carabiner. We're now going to deploy the lower panel on the Method 2 saddle. With the magnetic quick connect system, deploying your lower panel is simply a matter of pulling straight down on the small grab handles we've added to the saddle dedicated just for this purpose. To reattach the lower panel, stand up taking weight out of it and raise it until the magnets jump back into place, reattaching them in their original location. All right, now that we're up in the tree, let's talk about maximizing comfort with the Method 2 saddle. The beauty of the design of the Method 2 is that you've likely just hiked through a tangled mess with an extremely small profile. But now that you're up in the tree, 
You have an infinite number of adjustments you can make to dial in comfort for both your body type and hunting style. So let's break this down. There are three primary adjustments on the Method 2 for maximizing comfort. They are panel location, the position of the double Prusik knots on the bridge loops, and the bridge length. While all three affect comfort, the first two are the most important and they function in tandem together. Panel location determines where being supported and moving the Prusik knots up and down the bridge loops affect the weight distribution between the panels. Regardless of where you locate each panel, sliding the Prusik knots up the bridge loops will create more pull on the upper panel and sliding the Prusiks down will put more weight into the bottom panel. There are unlimited combinations of these two adjustments but we see three most commonly used. So the first combination of adjustments that we see used most often is by those that like to hunt from a leaning position. Typically they'll place the bottom panel right around the bottom edge of their butt, and the top panel right around their waistline. For proper weight distribution in this position, typically we find that the Prusik knots will be placed either in the center of the bridge loops or slid slightly towards the top of the bridge loop. The second combination of adjustments that we see used most often is by those that like to hunt from a sitting position. Typically in this position, the lower panel will be placed at or slightly below the bottom edge of your butt, and the top panel will be placed above your waistline. This provides a ton of back support. It almost feels like a lazy boy when you're up in the tree in a seated position. For proper weight distribution, because you have more weight now in your butt, the double Prusik knots should be slid above the center line of the bridge loop, typically up towards the top. This will be, again, dependent on your body size and shape, but you're definitely going to want to have it above the center point of the bridge loop to find comfort in this position. The third combination of adjustments that we see most commonly used is one that we like to call the low rider. In this scenario, both the top and lower panels are slid below the waistline, and functionally, this wear is very similar to a single panel style saddle. That's actually one of the advantages of a double panel is it can be worn very similarly to a single panel style while up in the tree, if and when desired. In this position, it's absolutely critical that you move your double Prusik knots to the bottom edge of the bridge loops. What this is effectively doing is lengthening the top panel so that your weight is properly distributed through both now that they're both cupping your rear end. Once you've figured out the combination of panel location and weight distribution that works best for you, the final adjustment to make the dial in comfort is the length of your bridge rope. The general rule of thumb to follow is that the shorter your bridge, the more the saddle is going to squeeze and pull towards the center of your body. As you lengthen your bridge, it's going to relax pressure. How long you run your bridge is purely personal preference and something that can only really be figured out through trial and error. That's it on the basics of how to use the Method 2 saddle. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and as always, don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions. We love hearing from you guys, and the Method 2 saddle would not be what it is today without your feedback. Thank you again, and good luck this fall.